coming with a big shout. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you. I want you to remain standing for one minute. And I want you to do something for me. You are in a Bible church. Am I correct? Yes. The pastor here is not dead. Am I right? Yes. And you are alive. Am I right? Yes. But I want you to do something for me. Look at someone's two eyeballs. And say from now, neighbor, I want the devil to know your name, that you are a child of God. You didn't hear what I said. Did you hear what I said? You say, what in the world? What in the world? Yeah, the Bible said, the devil said, Jesus, I know. Peter, I know. Who are you? Did you know that that is in the Bible? It's time for the devil to know whom the saints are. Give God a hand and sit down. Sit down. Since 1987 March, the gospel of Jesus Christ in the whole planet Earth has faced such a tribulation and trial that the church has never had in 50 years. The challenge has so come to ministers and ministries that almost the saints were to deny that Jesus is King of King and Lord of Lord. Through the stories that the newspaper carried True Ted Couple, True ABC, CNN, NBC, CBS, men like him and me and few others that go around the world has been asked, is God still there or he bowed out? Particularly if you are from America. The stories that the media Distributed around the whole world. Almost made people say, if this is all that is in Christianity, that's enough. But you know in the face of it all, more people are coming to the kingdom today than ever before in history. Because salvation is not in any other name than the name of Jesus. Some people have slacked in tight pain because of what the media said. Some slacked in offering giving, in project supporting because of what the media said in North Carolina, in Baton Rouge, and different places. And I began to ask myself, was there ever a time in the Bible that the church passed through such a detaining, disgraceful, shameful time in the scripture. And when I read through the Bible, over 200 times, over 200 places, I discovered that almost you would have thought the devil is now in charge. But suddenly, God will come down and say, I'm still here. I've not changed. Man may change. Government may change. People may change. But Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And I began to sum up courage. When Pastor Benny Hinn 
invited me here. You know, the hardest place to preach is where the pastor is a preacher. If you are going to a church where the pastor makes noise, it's not hard. If you are going to a place where the pastor tells stories, it's not hard. But where you go to, when you go to a place where the pastor is a preacher, you have to ask God for a scripture. And that's what I did. And I'm glad I'm here. So you sit down and let me preach. Everybody say hallelujah. In the gospel of the book of Kings, and I want you to look at it tonight. Second Kings, chapter 2. A prophet lived in Israel. He just graduated from a Bible school where his boss went to heaven in wild wind of fire. He saw this prophet honor God with the words of his mouth. He saw this prophet do great and mighty things. And this prophet said, before I leave, I teach you how to live in a society that denied the power of God. And he said, one of the things I'm going to teach you is how not to humiliate yourself in the hand of the Lord. Is how not to allow yourself to be used by the devil as a vacuum to sweep the floor. Is how not to accept any suggestion of destruction that the devil put in your life. This prophet began to teach the young prophet. It was not a Bible school of the prophet, but a Bible school of God's power in the now. I hear people say they are students of the school of prophet. It's not in the Bible. I'm telling you, it's not there. To go to school to learn how to prophesy, it's not in the Bible. You can prophesy without going to Bible school. Can you say amen? amen? You say, what do you mean? I mean that you can prophesy without going to Bible school. If you know Jesus, you receive the gift of prophecy, you prophesy. Amen. Have I offended you? No. All right. So this prophet began to say, follow me and watch how I'm going to end my career. The king of the land didn't want to hear anything about the church. He was tired of the power that made heaven and earth. So he said, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to send my soldiers. They are going to capture the man of God. They are going to kill him. And that will be the end of the power of the gospel in that land. And he sent and said, go capture this. I will show the whole world that tithe and offering is wasteful exercise. While he was discussing that in his house, the Spirit of God told the man of God that 50 men were coming to tie him, take him to the king, and they'll bring him before the open market and say, where is your God? And this man of God, who was not very humble like some preachers of today, who was not ready to be allowed, to allow God to use him for a disgraceful exercise, prepared. And in 2 Kings chapter 1, verse 10, we are told, and Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, If I be a man of God, if I be a man of God, let fire 
from heaven and consumed thee and thy fifty and there came down and there came down and there came down and there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. Get up and shout hallelujah if you believe in the Bible. I say if you believe in the Bible, stand to your feet and shout hallelujah. If you believe that this is the word of God, shout hallelujah. Pastor him, there's time to accept the insult. There is time when you don't know God. People say your God is dead. If you don't know God, people can make jest of your God. Elijah said, not me. He said, God, if you are still there. And if I'm your man, and if you are my God, show it. Show it. Now, send fire from heaven. Consume the enemy of the gospel. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't say, if I sing in the choir. He didn't say, if I play the trumpet. He didn't say, if I'm a preacher. He didn't say, if I pay tight. He didn't say, if I go to Tulsa. He didn't say, if I go to Dallas. He didn't say, if I'm a Sunday school teacher. He didn't say, if I speak in tongues. He did say, if I'm a good storyteller, he said, if I be a man of God, if I be a man of God, if I be a woman of God, if God is still alive, send down fire from heaven, that they may know you are my God. Everybody shout hallelujah. He didn't say, if I go to church. He didn't say, if I know how to play organ. He said, if truly I'm a man of God, let it be known. Let it be known that I'm truly a man. I am a man of God. That is lacking in the church today. Let me tell you this. At the age of 24, as a young preacher, I was at the church. I was an evangelist. I was press ambassador director. And my pastor stood up one day, Benny Hinn. And he said, Jesus said. Everybody said, Jesus said. Jesus said. Cast out devils. Cast out devils. Heal, the sick. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. I said, who said? Who said? Who said? Who said? said? To whom? To the church. I went to my pastor. I said, Pastor, did you say Jesus said? I can cast out devils. He said yes. Everybody say yes. Yes. Can I heal the sick? Yes. Can I clean the lepers? Yes. Can I raise the dead? Yes. yes. Oh my God. Yes. Everybody
everybody shout hallelujah. Church, cast out devil. Church, heal the sick. Church, cleanse the lepers. Church, raise the dead. I said, Pastor, that's good for me. I said, have you done it? He said, no. I said, can I do it? He said, what? Yes. What? Yes. Can I do it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. Do you want to do it? Yes. Everybody said, yeah. yes. Oh, hallelujah. I took my bicycle. That was my Rolls Royce. That was my 747. That was my DC-10. I took my bicycle and I took my Bible and I went from street to street. Is anybody dead here? Do you have anybody dead here? Do you have anybody dead here? My God. Anyone died here? No. And somebody said, what are you looking for the dead for? <laughs> Ask me. Ask me. Ask me. Be bold. My pastor told me to raise them up. <laughs> In my city. Not in Jerusalem, not in Orlando, my own city. From house to house, is anybody dead? They said no. Is anybody dead? No. From 11 o'clock in the morning, half past four in the afternoon, I got to a house where somebody finally died. <laughs> Everybody said hallelujah. I said, do you have anybody there? They said, here is one. They said, what do you want to do with him or her? I said, I've come to raise the dead from the dead. They said, here you are with one. And I said, glory to God. Everybody said, glory to God. Glory to God. I took the child, three years old. And I carried this child. And I looked at the child. I didn't know left from right. I've never done it before. And my pastor said he has not done it, but I can do it. That's difficult if he has not done it, and he said I can do it. So I said, baby, be healed. No answer. Baby, oh God, be healed. He died the more. What? Reduce the air condition, please. <laughs> I said, my pastor said I can raise you. I cried, no answer. I wept, no answer. So I turned to the Bible where he read. You shall cast out devil. You shall heal the sick. Cleanse the leper. Raise the dead. Then I put the baby down and found where Jesus raised the dead. And I saw where he said. The Bible said, he drove all of them out. So I said, fine. Father, mother, friends, all of you out. <laughs> Bend hands and they all left the house. And they said, what do you want to do? I said, Jesus, drop them out. I should drive you out. <laughs> and I drove them out. And they stood at the corridor. And I read. He said unto her, Damsel, I say unto thee, arise. So I called them back. I said, what's the name of your child? The girl in the Bible is Damsel. What's your child's name? <laughs> Don't 
laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. I didn't know left from right, but I went to raise the dead. Shout hallelujah. And they said, the name of the girl is Inuata. So I said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Inuata, I command you, rise up right now in Jesus' name. And in five seconds, Hallelujah. everybody say five seconds. Five the girl sneezed. She sneezed and rose up. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I didn't have Doctor of Divinity. I didn't have certificate from Bible school. I was not a professor from Zoe Bible College. I was a novice who wanted to try it. And it worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. Jesus has not changed. The power of God has not changed. Salvation has not changed. The blood of Jesus, God's own son, is still available for miracles. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. She got up. And I began to dance with a dead baby. And I said, let me read the Bible again. She said, he said to them, give her food. And I said, bring food. And she ate. And, she, and he gave her to the mother. And I took the baby. And I gave to the mother. I said, I'm going to look for another one. I went around the whole town. I didn't find any. The next week, none. Three weeks time, eight years old boy died. But did it on a girl. Male and female created he them. And I took the boy, eight years old. They said he died yesterday evening. And they are looking for casket for him this morning. I said, you don't need to worry. I'm here. I'm here. Everybody say, I'm here. I'm here. Say, I'm here. I'm here. That's why you are born again. Yeah. To save the lost. Yeah. To heal the sick. Yeah. To raise the dead. Yeah. To cleanse the lepers. Yeah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You thought you were saved so you can jack in the church. You told you we are born again so you can speak in tongue and turn around seven times? <laughs> Salvation is more than falling and rising. Amen. Salvation is go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth shall be saved. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That boy got up after my prayer. And in a few days, my gate is full. For all the sick in my town, all the blind in my city, all the deaf in my city, all the dumb in my city. I tried it by mistake, and it happened by mistake. Yes, and since that time, over eight people have seen God raised from the dead. Yes. You say! You have the gift of raising the dead. No. If I have the gift of raising the dead, I put a big sign in my door. Come unto me, all ye that are dead, and I shall raise you up. <laughs> That's not my calling. And the greatest time in my life is when I stand before half a million people, one million people, 100,000 people, and proclaim, Jesus Christ is the same. Yesterday, today, forevermore. Shout hallelujah.
Elijah said, if I be, he didn't say if you think I am. He didn't say if you wish I am. He didn't say if I think I am. He said if I am. If I be a man of God, shame, bow. Demons, bow. Sickness, bow. Diseases, bow. Fear, bow, and fire, come down. And fire came down from heaven. You never, never, never have sound testimony if the devil will turn you to racket for playing ball. No one in Orlando will respect you if you are going to become a hoover for the devil to sweep the carpet. It's time for the church to say, if I be a man, everybody say man. <laughs> Elijah, Pastor Hens, he didn't say, if we be men of God, he didn't say, if we be church. If he didn't say, Elijah didn't say, if we are members of Orlando Christian Center. He said, if I. Are you a man of God? Yes. Are you a man of God? Yes. When was the last time you cast out devil? Are you a woman of God? Yeah. When was the last time you said, don't bury that person, give me? When was the last time you said, give me the casket for offering? I want to sell it to pay tithe, but I give you your dead child. It's time for the church to show the world there is power in Jesus' name. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. The next verse, the next verse, verse 11, again, everybody say again, again. I didn't hear you, again. one more time, again, again. also, Whew. you thought temptation is once, and some of you think the devil has gone on vacation, he's at home hasn't gone on vacation, he's still alive, you still see thunder every day, you still see earthquake every day, you still, you still plane crash every day, you see the Iran and Iraq fighting, you see the Arab war hijacking Arab people, you see the people that are hijacking aircraft, you see people that are killing one another, you see people that are murdering each other, you still see rape in town. That is not the work of God. It is the work of the devil. He came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and have it more in abundance. After the death of 50 men by fire, the Bible said, Pastor Him, again, I thought that would have taught the devil's children lessons. But they don't learn until you teach them again and again and again and again. If the devil comes to your house seven times a day, cast him out ten times. How many will say hallelujah? hallelujah. No time for negotiation. Don't say, devil, do you want to go? No, tell him to go. Tell him to go. Tell him to go. From your business, go. From your marriage, go. From your children, go. From your finances, go. Devil, go. <laughs> now, 
1984. My wife and I got a new car, Pastor Benny. And on our street, a man just moved to that neighborhood. And he had a German shepherd dog. Four feet high from the ground. We just moved to that neighborhood. And the dog had never seen Mercedes before. Mercedes, Mercedes car. That's what I use. If you're angry, bury your head in shame. <laughs> and this dog pursued us. When we are going to the church, he will pursue us half a mile. My wife will say, honey, come on, move, move, move. And I change the gear from gear four to gear two to gear one, and this dog will still pursue us. When he's tired, we'll go back. One day we are coming from the church. I just finished casting out devil. I was sweating like no man's business. And we were coming as we bent to enter our street. This dog pursued us again. <laughs> And my wife said, honey, move, 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 move. My wife pinned all the lockers inside for a dog outside. And the dog pursued us. And I heard. Everybody say, I heard. I One more time. I Apply your break. Pardon? Apply break. Pardon? Apply One more time. And on that top of the speed, I put my leg on the brake. And the dog didn't know I was going to apply my brake. <laughs> and hit the head on the bonnet of the car and lost his jaw and turned around. He the horse said, what, 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 what? And the dog ran and turned back. And the Lord said, next time when devil pursue you, apply your break. Yeah. Resist the devil. Resist the devil. And he shall flee from you. The Bible didn't say run from the devil and he shall run from you. Bind him. Resist him. And he shall flee from you. If you love the Lord, say hallelujah. So I learned that day, and I said to my wife, we would have done this two months ago. And after that day, when the dog see our car, <laughs> oh. and I said, is that so? You mean if I stand against Goliath as David did? The Lord will put his head in my hands. Did you hear me? Yes. Did you hear me? Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. Don't let the devil take your job and you begin to sing. The Lord gave, the Lord took. The Lord never gave and takes. It is the devil that steals your money. It is the devil that steals your children. It is the devil that steals your job. Is the devil that steals your joy. And the best thing you need to do is to bind him and command him to leave. In the name above all other names, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shout hallelujah. Again. Also, verse 11. Shall we read it together? Are you there? Open your Bible. Look at it. One, two, go. And again. Verse 12. And Elijah answered and said unto them, If I be a man of God, let fire come 
down from heaven and consumed thee and thy fifty. And the fire of God came from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. Brother, did you hear me? If I be me, everybody say me, me. be me. Man. man, 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 woman, woman. of God. Think about this. You know how many things you've lost because you never reminded yourself. Because you failed to remind yourself. The Spirit of Jesus is in me. Yeah. Romans 8 says, the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you. Your mortal body shall be quickened by the Holy Spirit. Elijah said, Father, let them know in Orlando I am a man of God. And I can see God say, Son, that's good. Everybody say, son, son that's, good. that's good. I can picture God from heaven smiling and say, Elijah, you sure know you're right. You surely know what to do. 1972, October. My wife and I were in the house sleeping. 3 a.m., I had some missionaries visiting me from England. We have no air condition, we have no fan, we have newspapers. <laughs> and these British friends from Liverpool are not used to newspaper air condition. <laughs> so they opened their window down for air to come in and three o'clock in the morning seven men thieves came to my house three o'clock in the morning and they saw the window opened and they lifted the head of one of the missionary and said get up bring your money and he jumped up he said who are you they said we are men of underworld. And he said, I'm not the owner of the house. I'm a visitor. So he passed. He got out of his room. He said, let me call the landlord. <laughs> <laughs> Say hallelujah! So he came to my section and he called my wife. Mrs. Idahosa. Mrs. Idahosa. I was speaking in tongues on my knees. She got up I said, yes, what is it? He said, there are seven men outside. They said they are thieves, and they want money. And my wife bust in town. And all the pastors in my house, eight of them began to speak in tongues. And the thieves said, shut up! And they shut up. They closed their mouths. And they came to me. They said, there are seven thieves. <coughs> they want to take our properties. I said, who? They said, thieves. They said, let us pray. I said, I prayed before they came. Everybody said, I prayed before they came. I marched to the door. I took my Bible. I said, who do you say you are? They said, we are men of the night. I said, I'm the man of the afternoon. I said, are you ready for me? They said, no, sir. I said, hold on five minutes. I'm going to kill all of you right now. <laughs> and seven men 
fled and jumped to the bush. You don't need to wait till terminal time before you ask for a doctor. When your case becomes incurable, you die if you don't know you're right. But if you can bind headache, you can bind cancer. If you can bind fever, you can bind ulcer. If you can lose the mentally derided man, you can raise the dead. How many will say amen? No time to negotiate with the devil. Elijah didn't say, excuse me. Let me see who can bail me. Let me see who can help me. He said, if I be, if I be the man of God, let fire from heaven come down here. Can you talk like that? What would have you done if, if 50 men came to your house in Orlando and you know they came to kill you? You know what some of you would have done? <laughs> Pastor Benny When was the last time you reacted to the attack of the enemy? When was the last time you rebelled against fever? When was the last time you said, headache, if I be a man of God, leave me. Poverty, if I be a man of God, out and prosperity in. If I be a man of God, that's what I'm here for tonight. To get the men and women of God who want to do miracle in the name of God. Jesus hasn't changed. Jimmy Swaggart may make mistake. Jim Baker may make mistake. Anybody can make mistake. Jesus has not made mistakes. Yeah. He's alive. Yeah. He's alive. Yeah. Three years ago, Pastor Him, all the witches in the world met in Chicago to hold their first conference in Africa. You know where they want to hold it? My city. <laughs> My city. And their chief host granted the network interview. And he said, the first universal conference of witches and wizards is going to hold in Benin. And I said, what? Where? They say, where I live. So I said, it's not true. Everybody says, it's not true. true. I didn't hear you. One more time. It's not true. And the press said, what is not true? I said, they can't come. They said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to kill all of them. <laughs> and they called the chief host and said, Dr. Inahosa said, you can't hold the meeting. He said, not even God can stop it. I'll bring you the newspaper. He said, not even God can stop it. And the press said, listen to what this man said. He said, not even God. I said, he's correct. They said, he's correct. I said, yes. They said, why? I said, because God shouldn't waste his time. I'm here. Yeah. 
everybody shout hallelujah. I said, God, do your business. Leave this one to me. I can handle this. And I said, how many are they? He said, 9,800. So I said, good. Everybody said, good. good. I love challenges. Because challenges are scaffolding to higher height in faith. There's time for people to find out whom you are in Orlando. It's time for people to know that God put you here in Orlando. If they cannot tell by your clapping, by your dancing, they can tell by your fire. Did you hear me? If they don't know whom you are because you sing in the choir, because you pay your tithe, they can know whom you are when you raise the dead. Everybody say, fire come, fire, come say fire, come down. Fire, come down. Say, fire, come down. And the media men came to my house. They said, Dr. Idahosa, you are taking a risk. I said, what? They said, be careful. I said, People who take care don't take charge. And people who take charge don't take care. For my Bible says, be careful for nothing. <laughs> but by prayers and supplication, make your request known to God. And they said, are you ready to face the camera to tell the whole nation what you are saying? And which I called this man, as he called two of us. They brought him to the studio and they brought me to the studio. And the anchor man said, Gentlemen, I don't want anyone to die among you. <laughs> Chief host, are you really sure you are bringing 9,800 witches from all over the world? He said, Yes. Dr. Idahusa, are you sure you are going to stop the meeting? I said, I'm not going to stop it. I've stopped it. I have stopped it. He said, are you ready? We want to grant you one hour to tell us how strong your God is and you tell us how your witchcraft is. He said, I'm ready. And I said, fine. But at the end of this program, you let me pray because I'm going to kill him. They brought us to the camera and they asked him, <laughs> I said, they asked him, tell us how strong witches are. And he told us. For 27 minutes, he quoted from the Old Testament, from 6 or 7 book of Moses, from Egyptian books, from Israeli book, from British book, from magical book. And they said to me, did you hear him? I said, yes. They said, what do you say? I said, I have nothing to say. The meeting is canceled. <laughs> they said, why? And I opened my Bible. No divination spirit. No incantation spirit. She has turned the presence of the righteous. And I began to quote from Leviticus to the New Testament. And at the end, I said, how many minutes more? He said, five. I said, it's time for me to kill this man. <laughs> I said, sir, just answer me one word and I kill you. And everybody began to panic. <laughs> I said, say yes or no. Are you a witch? He said, no. I said, get up. If you say yes, I kill you. But if you are not, and he 
is that I'm not. To the open the studio, network news, to bomo hi korolo bomo jabalabaya and so forth. And I said, if you had accepted your will, I kill you. The next morning, he came to my office to collect the Bible. And they still met him. The media left us, and they still went to his house. With the meeting hold, yes. Seven days more. Three days more with the meeting hold, yes. And they came to me. Are you sure the meeting is canceled? I said, no comment. If the meeting hold, I set fire in my Bible. It's canceled. What I bind on earth is bound in heaven. <laughs> and they said, what is your power? I said, my power is in the Bible. Whatsoever you lose on earth is loose in heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. And they said, but two days more. I said, don't waste your time. The next morning, I went to the president's office. And I said, I've told the whole nation, and you are aware, that there's no meeting of the witches and wizards. He said, the day you were on TV, I sent telex to all the embassies in the world not to allow one wizard to come to Nigeria. Today, today, the constitution of Nigeria is the only constitution I know in the whole world where it is written, no man should practice witchcraft. Because of what I said, they put it in the constitution, you cannot practice witchcraft in Nigeria. What you bind on earth can be bound in heaven. If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven. It's time for the church to know whom they are. Say, I'm a man of God. Say, I'm a man of God. If you're a woman, say, you're a woman of God. Are you there? If you know your right in Christ, every demon in Orlando will be afraid of you. Nineteen eighty five, the government of Nigeria announced no more tracks, no more crusade, no more open air in the whole nation. And I went to my room and knelt down. Father, what did you say? And God said, what do you say? I said, Father, what do you say? And he said, son, what do you say? <laughs> he said, what do you want? I said, I want the whole crusade. He said, you can go ahead. I said, I can go ahead. He said, yes. And I sent for Bunky. I said, Renha Bunky, I have two big crusades. Can you join me? He agreed to come. In April 1985, March 1985, for the first time in my friend's life, he saw half a million people face to face for five nights in Ibadan when the government said no more crusade. Wow. In the whole city of Ibadan, on Friday, all the mosques closed to come to my crusade. <laughs> then I said, thank you, Lord. Everybody say, thank you, Lord. And he said, son, where do you want to go next? I said, Washington of Nigeria, Lagos. 
And he said, you can do it. And I printed one and a half million hand bills and 50,000 posters and hired 2,000 ushers to distribute it around the whole city of Lagos. And that's the first time I saw with my two eyes one million people every night in a crusade. When the government said no more, and God said, go ahead. <laughs> if I be a man of God, let fire come down. The devil has made fun enough of your business. Stand up tomorrow and say, business, I change you. Look at your bank passbook and say, this red is not good. Be green in Jesus' name. <laughs> Look at your marriage that the devil is fighting. I say, you demon of confusion in marriage, get out. If I be a woman of God, Satan, leave my husband from drinking. I lose him from drinking. I lose him from smoking. I lose him from the works of the enemy. When I became a Christian, Pastor Him, my mother had eight of us, only me, a Christian. And I said, God, what do I do? He said, son, what do you want to do? That's the problem I have with God. Every time I ask him questions, he asks me back. <laughs> he said, what do you want to do? I said, I want my sisters, four, to be saved. I want my brothers, three plus me, safe. He said, you can have them. So I began to call them name one by one. And today, all of them are in the same ministry with me. <laughs> if I be a man of God, let fire, not snow, not ice block, not diet Pepsi, <laughs> not diet Coke, let fire. Everybody say fire. fire. The world needs to see fire before they know you serve a risen Christ. Are you ready? The next verse. Verse 13. Shall we read it together? Let's stand up. Let's stand up. Let's stand to our feet. I say, let's stand to our feet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mm. And he sent again. Everybody say again. Amen. Aren't you surprised, Pastor Benny Hens, that devil is not tired of attacking? You know, some of you think when you speak in tongue, then the devil take his baggage and leave. No. You continue to bind him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Until God send him to the bottomless pit. How many will say amen to that? You can't stop the devil from doing his job. His job is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But well, he shouldn't stop you from doing your job. Your job is to bind and to lose. Can you say amen? amen? That's all. He knows his job. Your job is to cast him out. His job is to try to destroy you. Your job is to destroy him. Hasn't the Bible said it is better to give than to receive? <laughs> cast him out. <laughs> Verse 13. <laughs> And he sent again a captain of the third fifty. Or oh, one man. One man. Listen. And the third captain of fifty went up. And came and fell on his knees before Elijah. And besought him and said unto him, O oh, man. Everybody read it. 
Let me hear you loud. Again. Oh, man of God. What did Elijah say he is? What did the devil's children say he is? Man of God. Don't call fire upon me. Spare me and my men. It's time for devil's children to kneel before you. And look at your face as, oh man of God. Oh man of God. Oh man of God. Oh man, oh woman of God. You've tolerated nonsense enough. Yeah. It's time for you to rebel against sickness. Yeah. It's time for you to say no to poverty. Yeah. It's time for you to say no to cancer. Yeah. It's time for you to say no to diseases. Yeah. It's time for you to say no to shortages. Yeah. I said, devil, if I be a man of God, leave me alone. Yeah. How many want the power of God tonight? Raise your hand and begin to worship him right now. Lift up your hand and open your mouth and begin to worship him right now. Open your mouth and worship him right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name above all other names. Receive power from on high. Receive power from the throne of God. To do exploit for the kingdom. Power to raise the dead. Power to heal the sick. Power to lose the bound. Power to cleanse leper. Power. Power. Open your mouth. 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 Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship God. Worship God. Worship God. Worship God. Worship God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 It's time to receive. 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 Time to receive. The power of God. The power of God. Jesus is here tonight. I said Jesus is here tonight. Jesus is here tonight. He's here with power. He's here with healing. He's here with miracles. I'm going to pray for the sick tonight. But before we pray for the sick, is there anybody who won the fire of God in his or her life? If you want fire to fall from heaven, Upon your tongue, and upon your hand, and upon your ministry, and upon your business. I'm going to ask you to take the step of faith and rush from where you are. Move forward. If you are tired of frozen Christianity, if you need fire in your ministry, just live where you were. Just live where you were. Just live where you were. Move forward. Live where you were. That's the way. That's the way. If you are tired of frozen Christianity, if you are tired of the devil attacking your job, if you are tired of the devil attacking your business, if you are tired of the devil attacking your husband, your wife, your children, your home, your life, everything about you, it's time to say, oh God, send fire from heaven to touch me. Listen to me. Listen to me. You never get respect from the devil until you tell him, I'm a child of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Orlando Times will not do that for you. Channel 6, Channel 5, Channel 9, Channel 12, Channel 0 cannot do it for you. Channel your mouth can do it. If thou shalt say to this mountain, 
speed thou and move. If thou shalt say, he didn't say if thou shalt jerk, if thou shalt fall, if thou shalt cry, if thou shalt say, it's time for the children of God to say, poverty, I'm too handsome to be like you. <laughs> Sickness, Hallelujah. from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, I belong to God. Hallelujah. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. Elijah said, if I, I like that. He didn't say if we be. We may be, but I want to be a man of God. And when the enemy soldiers came, they bow yeah. and fell yeah. and said, Oh, oh man. <laughs> Jesus said, Till I make thy enemy thy first two. They knelt down. And I can hear God say, Son, Say whatever you want to say. <laughs> but keep them there until they know I am your father. Every time you pray miracle prayer, heaven smile. Every time you cast out devil, I can see God with his white throne. Say, that's my daughter. <laughs> she knows her right. <laughs> She knows what to do with my name. <laughs> she knows what to do. Why should sinners prosper and sins suffer? Is he ignorant? Somebody think the poorer they are, the sooner they'll see God. No. No unclean thing shall see heaven. Poverty is a disgrace to God. The earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. Yeah. Oh. You can be free. Yeah. You can perform a miracle. Yeah. If you are born again. Glory. You are a child of the living God. Yeah. If you have received Jesus. Yeah. You are a man of God. Yeah. If you have received Jesus. You are a woman of God. Yeah. And it's time for sickness to bow. Yeah. Yeah. And look at you and say, Oh man of God. I believe. Hallelujah. You are a man of God. Hallelujah. It's time for diseases yeah. to look at you. Last year, we were in convention. And my driver drove out. And they took my wife's car from him. Robbers snatched the car. And they came and told my wife. And my wife said, Father, I give you 12 hours. Send my car back to my garage. Everybody say, Father, Father. in 12 hours, Father. return my car return my to my garage. My I paid tight. I, pay tight. I gave offering. I, I owe you nothing. Send my car back. How many will say hallelujah? hallelujah. I said, honey, can I pray for you? She said, no, I prayed. My car is coming back. Everyone say, my car is coming back. And I said, can we go and tell the police? She said, if you want them to have testimony, tell them. But if you don't want them to have it in their record for testimony, don't bother yourself. My car is coming back. I've checked my tight card. I owe nothing. I've checked my offering record. I owe nothing. And the car belongs to me. I say, if I be a man of God, fire come down from heaven. The Bible says, and fire came down. 
It's not smoke that came down. It's not ice that came down. It's not snow that came down. Elijah did not ask for snow. He asked for fire. And fire came down. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Nine hours later, two policemen came to our house. The car that your driver came, I didn't know my driver went to report. They said, there's a car we saw a few streets away. Everything inside, it looks like your wife's own. My wife said, it doesn't look like it is, bring it. <laughs> and in nine hours, the car was back to garage. You know what happened? When the thieves opened the locker, they saw my picture. And they said, mm mm. <laughs> Everyone said, mm mm. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> They left the license, they left the radio, they left everything inside and left the key there. Beautiful. If I be a man of God, yeah. let fire come down yeah. from heaven. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a short prayer. I've read my Bible, Pastor Haynes. Every time Jesus performed a magnificent miracle, it took him one minute. If he was going to say to the lepers, be cleansed, he didn't climb the mountain seven times. Bring that man here. Sir, shh. Where is he? Come with your walking can. Come with it. <laughs> Moromo Sokoloro, Dodoro, Pila Baya Pata Soko, Brando Mohipo, Yarala Baya Tasa. Carry him, carry him, help him, help him, help him, help him. Brilli Baya Tasando Do, Edi La La Lama Yatasai, Proto Lomoya, Potomo Say, Mendom Mondom Mondom Mondom. Be loose, be loose. In Jesus' name of Nazareth, be loose. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, be healed now. In Jesus' name, everyone say amen.